What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, I woke up, I didn't really have anything for breakfast. Um, and uh, I woke up at 8 and then at about 10 I went on the treadmill. Um, and I don't know, that went pretty okay. It, it, it went fine. Uh, I'll tell you the statistics, one moment. I walked for two miles, it took 35 minutes. Um, I burned 206 calories, my average heart rate was 128. And then I sort of jogged for uh, 42 minutes, uh, four miles, um, 570 calories, average heart rate 155, and that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, um, what's that? Um, yeah. Uh, Something interesting that happened is while I was walking on the treadmill, I suddenly felt like I had to throw up, which has actually happened to me before when I drink hot coffee, which I did that morning, uh, and not eat anything. Uh, and so, you know, I felt kind of sick. I went upstairs and I told my parents, you know, I think I have to throw up. And uh, they were like, well, um, so you didn't eat anything this morning, and this happens when you drink hot coffee. You should eat up and like some food instead. So I went, and went to the kitchen and ate a banana. Um, and then after that, I wasn't sick anymore, and that was crazy. Um, typically, you know, if you want to stop throwing up, if you want to stop feeling like you have to throw up, eating food is... I, I don't know if that's the way to do that, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, after that, the rest of the walk was good. Um, and for dinner, we actually ordered mod pizza. Uh, something I tried to do earlier today is I tried to set my, um, navigation keys on i3 and vim permanently to hjkl. Um, because I've been using the arrow keys not only for Vim, but also for, um, what, for uh, i3, right? And uh, I was like, man, people do do this, I shouldn't do this. And so I did it. It was horrifying. I really tried to stick with it for, like, two hours. Uh, but, you know, once, like, yikes, like, yuck, you know? It, it just, um... The Vim key bindings are just not intuitive to me, and arrow keys I've been using them my whole life, and I'm just so used to them that it's very, very, very difficult to change that muscle memory. Um, I'm so used to the QWERTY keyboard, you know, it's it's strange to not use anything else. Um, especially considering I, I type pretty fast on it, and so when I'm bad at it, it's like horrifying. I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, um, for dinner, uh, we ended up ordering Mod Pizza because they have free delivery this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, I got a pizza with like some sausage and pepperoni and mozzarella and green peppers and oregano and chopped garlic and um, I don't know if I mentioned olives. Uh, there were onions on there. There were green peppers chopped on there. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and now I'm just doing my thing. I'm trying to switch over from D menu to Rofi. Uh, and let me just show you guys. Look at that. So this is the menu right now. Uh, this is like my super... There we go. So this is like my super, super, super default config, right? Where you just do uh, uh, like mod D and then it just opens, you know, a big list of things. And let's say you want to open like Brave, you would be like, oh, Brave. And then you would choose that. Um, and that's just how I've always opened files, or, uh, applications. Um, something interesting is that I actually used to use Rovi in the past. Um, I just got it because I wanted to not use Dmenu. I was kind of being, um, like, contrary in a little bit. Uh, but with Rovi, the reason why I want to use Rovi is because to customize Dmenu, you have to, like, edit C code, and I just never want to do that. Um, and so Rofi is just easier, it's like D-Menu, it has all the configuration settings I want, um, and I have it set up. Get ready for this. Um, yeah. Uh, it kind of looks like this right now. I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um, it doesn't look, like, correct yet. I'm trying to get it to look the same as my, um, like, bar, but... You know, it's not necessarily there yet. I have to do the red color because if I were to do the other color, like it would look a little weird, but then that makes me want to have, um, sorry, if I use this background color here, it would look a little weird. Um, but 
you know, I don't know. But why is my... Oh my god. There we go. Uh, sometimes I have this really weird issue where, um, my things in the corner just go away. My, my, my things there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. I'm just doing my thing. Uh, yeah, alright, see you, dude.